well good morning y'all so it's uh friday morning uh, me and zach we getting to it uh zach's already getting to one be the last time we do that one uh most of the properties you see us doing they're gonna be the the last time except for some of the commercial stuff uh but you know it is what it is uh we're just trying to just stay busy man right so i gotta drop off uh two tires off to the tire shop uh what a pain uh yeah and that's gonna be i mean that's probably gonna be about 230 or 40 dollars something like that those tires are 100 bucks each man give or take you know uh, so yeah that's one thing about having you know different trailers and stuff you know i want you know like i told you guys probably well uh, probably ever since i've been doing videos i won't be buying another 3500 pound axle trailer you know uh single axle or double axle any trailers i buy the axles are going to have to be 5,000 pound axles uh, because on my dump trailer i got you know the 5,500 pound axles uh i believe it's six lug or eight lug i can't remember uh i think it's six lug on the 3,500 pound axles it's five lug and the tires, you know, of course, they're smaller. But see, when you have run into something like, uh, stuff like we did yesterday, the only thing that I have that has a 3,500-pound tire on, uh, just in case you, you know, uh, get in a jam, is the man lift. So, and the man lift has a spare tire as well. So, basically, yesterday, that's what I had to do. Uh, because I... I took the tire over to the tire shop. They didn't have any tires in stock. This was, you know, the last time we dealt with a flat tire, which I ain't been but about a month ago. Uh, so I used a the spare then, and then yesterday when we had the flat, I didn't have a spare. So I had uh, I had to grab the spare that was on the man lift. So. Uh, and the only reason that is because I would have done the spare and had the spare had had the damn uh, tire shop had the spares and then I just forgot right I mean but we all I mean I, 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 when it ain't dead on like you know during the summer I don't I slip but I don't slip a lot but during the this time of year when the work starts drying up and stuff man I, I, i'm not i'm just not as hardcore on my a game because well things get a little bit lax and that's okay you know but you know it's just uh well it's expensive <laughs> to be in business is expensive and i noticed that it must be december must be the month when all the haters are really sitting on mama's couch because i'm getting all all those uh, lame haters uh, that I don't hear from all the time just you know I guess when they you know they must make their rounds right they coming in the comments with the stupid crap you know talking about I ain't qualified to take that tree down talking about you know I could have saved you know 60% of my time blowing on that little that little uh, gravel area I blew off yesterday I mean really it just shows the ignorance of people man uh, said I was shaking real bad when I when I did the uh, when I changed the tire you know on the trailer dude it's, it's it, uh, of course it looks like that because it's like four times uh, the, sp the regular speed you know and, and another thing too I did not have the uh deep socket either so i kept having to you know of course none of these guys would know anything about none of that because they don't do anything but just uh hate on uh, ray ray i love the attention though and i appreciate y'all suckers for watching you know 
keep my views up. Just do me a favor, man. If you're going to come in the comments and you're going to hate on Ray Ray, please hit the freaking like button, man. Please. I'm just saying, man. So today we don't have a lot. We're going to do one, two. We got two of them that are like 150 bucks. And then we got an 80, two 60s, and a 50. That's what we're going to do today. So I don't know how much money that is, but I didn't even print the list off. Because they're all right here. So first thing I got to do is drop these tires off. Go on and get that in the works. Uh, and then I'll come back and pick them up as we're working. Because we're going to be working all around the tire shop today. So, yeah. But they, there's a lot of hate out there, man. Damn. Damn. Yeah, but I kind of like the video uh, the way it came out yesterday uh, with the on the you know on my hat. So we might start doing a little bit more of that. Uh, it takes some getting used to. Uh, like I forgot I even had it on my head when I was doing the tire. I didn't even realize it until I got back in the truck and uh, I just I, I saw it on my head in the mirror. But we ended up doing pretty good yesterday, so, you know, uh, and for all the, the haters that were talking about that blowing, that that's really not even a, a job, man. I mean, if y'all think that blowing that little bitty area, that was just kind of, I'm just kind of going over it real quick, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I could have got away without even doing that, really. Uh, you know. They just say some stupid stuff, man. I'm just not used to being around all that, you know, or living a, in a in a life of all that ignorant shit, man. I'm telling you, I'm like, man, where the hell do they come from? Right? I mean, like, there's only so many ways you can blow, you know, a 600 square foot area. And since it's being such a small area, really doesn't matter i mean you're not saving any any time by doing it this way or that way the mere fact that i got a backpack blower on and you know blowing hardcore well i mean i could probably just about stand in one place in that little gravel area and blow but remember this man to all the haters is you is you only see what I want you to see. That's why you don't see me doing lives and shit. So, so I just pulled up to the tire shop. So I just pulled up over here to Sarah's, you know, uh, where Zach's staying at, and man, the leaves over here are terrible. I mean, look at this. Bad. And, you know, She's old, man. She really, she, <clears throat> she ain't got no money, man. You know, uh, I gave her that little bitty blower, but that little blower ain't gonna do nothing if she don't do it damn near every day or, or you know, blow, at least blow it away from the house. These leaves are wet. So what I'm gonna do is, um, uh, me and Zach, uh, we're gonna come over here with the blowers today. And, uh, well, once we get to the other job over there, to where I'm going now, we just gonna have to take a minute because, I mean, these leaves are terrible over here, man. And you know, she 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 can't handle all that. So, and you know, Sarah's been uh, uh you know Sarah's been helping my mom out too. You know, been going over to my mom's and uh, of course uh, you know helping her uh, clean the house and of course my mom's paying her. But you know. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna have to blow this yard out, you know, uh, 
because she'll never do that with that little bow I got I gave her. She said even that little bow that I gave her hurts her arm. We just gonna have to take about a half hour and take care of her property, man. Cause it looks really bad. And you know, uh, I don't wanna, you know, let Zach take a blower home with him because I don't know what all goes on over there at night. Uh, somebody might steal the blower, you know, so, uh, yeah. And we're not, you know, we're gonna just be all around in this area today anyway. So, uh, we're gonna blow that, we're gonna blow her yard out, man. I mean, y'all been over here a hundred times, man. Uh, these properties, this property's nothing. It's just about leaf mulching up the leaves. And when Zach pulls up over here, then that's the best thing to do. Then me and him will just get in this truck and we'll go to Sarah's, do hers, and then we'll go to the tire shop, pick up the tires, then we'll come back here. We'll just go in one truck. So, yeah. It's going to be a minute before he gets done with that one, I know for sure. So, yeah. Uh, one thing I'm noticing though, uh, the Skag mower, y'all, that Skag mower, it does better with the leaves than the X-Mark does as far as mulching them up. It really does. It sucks up everything. Now, with the, the way the Skag is built, the mouth the, of the deck on the Skag, it's a lot wider. I don't want to say it's twice as wide, but it's a third, you know, and somehow some way i don't know it, it 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 devours as much grass as the x mark does right <clears throat> and it'll throw it you know but when but it doesn't throw it uh where you can see it like the x mark but what i've learned is the skag deck it mulches the leaves up better it mulches the grass up better and when it throws it, it spreads it better. See, the X mark, it'll throw like a line like this wide. It'll throw it 15 feet, especially in thick, wet grass with new blades on it. The sky could go over that same grass, and it won't throw it. Well, it'll, it'll appear like it ain't throwing it at all. And that was kind of what tricked me with the sky to begin with. But when we're doing these leaf jobs, I'd rather be on the skag, you know, because the skag just simply uh, it vacuums up better and it disperses better, you know. Just some thoughts on the skag versus the X mark. Just some things that I'm learning, you know, as I continue to use both of them. So basically, what I'm gonna do here, if we always park over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these uh, mowers off and cut me a place to park. And uh, right in here. So when Zach gets over here with the uh, other with the other truck, we really could have went with with just one truck today, but I didn't want to, man. I like I like having two trucks running if I'm out here, because that gives us a lot of options in case something happens. You know, but of course you got two trucks out here. Something is more than likely uh, is more than likely to happen too, right? <laughs> so you got to think about that too. Something's going on with uh, when I get it, get it off of here uh, on this hydro pump right here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, I might. It, it, I think it's getting too hot. Sometimes with the hydro filter, with the hydro uh, on these Zeoturn mowers, the Parker filter, uh, the Parker pumps, if you put if you put too much fluid in them, then it, it, it can cause some problems. Uh, it'll it'll bubble up, and but at the end of the day, I had rather have too much in it than not enough, and it's hard to gauge it really.
So that's a place to park for us anyway. Uh, I'm waiting on Zag. Uh, he, that yard over there does take a minute. I want to look at something on this mower real quick. See, the good thing about the Xmark mowers, you don't have to have one of those fancy, you know, weed eater holders. Y'all see how that weed eater sits on there like that? Look at that. Perfect. It ain't going nowhere. It won't even bounce off. Leave it on there on the trailer and everything. I'll keep that weed eater there all the time. But something's up with one of the hydro pumps here. Uh, and I, it may be just too full or one of the fans might be broke on it because it's getting a... Uh, and if you look, you see... Yeah. But you see all the the goo on it? That's not because it's uh what that is is it that's boiling over. Uh and that's the kind of thing that happens when you put too much uh hydro fluid in 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 the uh in the reservoir there. Uh it boils out. See the other side's nice and clean. And the reason why I put more in it was because this is the side that the fan, remember the fan uh the cooling fan there broke so uh so when i noticed it broke right what i did is i is i put the new fan on and then i just put a little bit of fresh fluid in there you know the x mark fluid uh because i well i didn't know you know if it uh you know with the fan blade being broke if it got a little hot and maybe undermining some of the viscos viscosity in the uh in the hydro oil so i just put a little bit i, I mean not even a you know i mean i just put an ounce or two in there not a lot so uh yeah but uh yeah. But you guys can see how this is a setup. Look at these great big windows, man. So these big windows, man. I mean, and then pour gravel all in front, man. That's just not, not, you gotta be careful, man. Uh, over here. I don't even like none of the guys even weed eating over here. And they're gonna leave the water hose and y'all saw a lot of other stuff just laying around out there they got they had i know at least five or six guys with vans and everything standing around hanging out talking while i was cutting the other piece and so then when i get you know over here it didn't occur to them that i mean they know that i'll be cutting this you know just you know I'm not gonna pick it up either. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna just mow around it. Every time I come over here, it's something, man. So, so we're at Sarah's now. Uh, I dropped Zach off. I'm gonna let him, him blow that, uh, blow it all out, man. Uh, I'm gonna go up here and pick up my two tires, uh, fill both the mowers up with fuel. Well, I'm basically gonna spend some money, you know. So that's a wrap on the day, man. We got uh, we, uh, excuse me. Uh, we got pretty much everything done that we needed to get done. Uh, you know, it's just I don't know, man. I'm still in that funk, man. It's just it's raining again. I don't know, man. It's just I'm in line at Chick Fil A. Trying to get home. It's 73 degrees, y'all, and it's December the 9th. And I bet it was 75 or 76 earlier today. So we don't hardly get any cold weather anymore. Never. 
So, yeah. And, you know, I don't know if I'm going to post a video tonight, man. Y'all know what it is. It's Sammy and Friday, y'all. Peace out.